Further. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, you hungry? since I can't have milk pa rin until now. <laughs> and look, it looks so good. So this is the complete set and it's perfect to give as a gift. I know I'd be happy if I got this as a gift. The color is super cute. And these are the utensils. Amari is in this stage where he's using these as his first utensils. Kinda uses it like a teether, so he holds it with his hands and then just starts nibbling on this. And if you're spoon feeding, this is the perfect utensil to use because it's already curved and these are good stage two utensils. He's already drinking from a cup, so this is the perfect way to start because the one he has right now is plastic. So this is a lot better for his gums. This is a mat with a matching bib in his plate, a bowl with a lid to store his food, and these I really love because you can put the pacifier here, which he only really uses when he's in the car, and at least it can clip on his clothes or on the car seat, wherever, so that the pacifier won't fall. And this itself is also a teether, so it has wood and food grade silicone, so it's really convenient. And this is another food container. But the good thing about this is it's easy to bring around because it can expand that way, or it could also collapse into a smaller container like that. This also came with it, and it's a rainbow stacker toy so you can do all kinds of stuff with this like that you can build with it and these are really pretty reed diffusers and dried flowers at the same time so two in one and this is how you use them pala i used to not make them baliktad and just leave the sticks there it's a sweaty thing Sorry, Mom, the yep, Easter brunch for the family. Yay, I'm so happy Amari has new books. So he has letters, numbers, shapes, and colors completo na. And he has textured books like these. We could feel different types of textures. You can play with that. And he has books that are more interactive, like this, and this little dolly. And these are also books. They make this sound, and they look like toys. So that's great because it's actually difficult to get him to read because <laughs> he's so hyper, so he'd rather be doing other stuff. So he only likes to read when they make that noise. And he has this as well. And this, a lovey, which he can sleep with because blankets are too dangerous to sleep with. And this, because I want him to also know how to speak Tagalog. 